Hello YouTube, this is Rhino Dan, and one day when I get bigger I'm going to have a film crew, but right now it's just me, so let's bear with it. I'm making the Knox Android re review. This glove review is long overdue. People ask me in my videos constantly what gloves I'm wearing, and I always have to tell them the Knox Android, and I'm going to make a video on it, and I'll just throw in a link to them. So, I've had these, I had these gloves now for a few months, I put them to their paces, track day, thousand corners in one day, a whole bunch of videos, you've seen me, and wherever you can see me, these, I've worn these gloves. Awesome gloves. The reason I bought these gloves were because they're full gauntlets. When you do a track day, these gloves right here are not good enough because they will not let you on the track without full gauntlet gloves as part of the requirements of going to a track. So I went out and invested $270 into these gloves. Investment was well worth the money. I'm going to go over that here in a second. Now you notice in the back of the gloves, these plastic looking things right here, right? And you're like, well, why is that there? Well, two reasons. One, if your back of your hand hits the ground, it's going to slide. And two, compared to these gloves, these gloves, these fingers are just like, going to get broken any which way. There's no stops. There's nothing back there stopping the glove from going this far back. Which means your finger can go that far back pretty easily. That's as far as back this glove will go without, you know, see how this glove will go all the way back? Well, that's where your finger can get all the way back, right? This glove actually has a stop. I mean, you can go further back, but I mean, it's, it's a physical stop. Which means you can still break your finger, absolutely. But the odds of breaking your fingers probably a little bit less with these gloves than it is with these gloves that don't have it. Another thing I want to talk about, too, is the dual palm sliders. Why are they important? Well, this has a single palm slider, which is better than nothing. But as you hit the ground... Your wrist is going to slide, it's going to catch the leather, and you're going to bind in, and you're going to break a little bone in your wrist right there. That little bone in your wrist is, is super hard to fix. When I was 19 years old, I did a back knuckle roundhouse, roundhouse kick to my best friend. We were sparring, we were in Kempo Karate. He brought his hand down to block my kick. I broke his little bone in his wrist. And he had to do two surgeries, and he still can't do pull-ups right. And that's like 20 years later. That little bone is doesn't really heal properly ever. At all. Never. So, this right here will help you from stop you from breaking that little bone. Another thing I want to talk about too is... the How easy it is to cinch in. Sorry for the dogs barking. I can't control that. Alright, that's how fast it is to put this glove on. Pretty easy. You can do this with, I can put the other glove on with the other glove on, which is pretty easy. Normally, sometimes you wear gloves, it's hard to put another glove on when you have multiple Velcro uh, things to put on. This glove's super easy to put on, super easy to take off, and it's very secure. The thing I like about it too is there's that custom fit, so you wear a bigger jacket or smaller jacket, it's still going to fit. Because this is supposed to go, the jacket's supposed to go in, in between the arm right there, sorry for the bad camera angle, one, only one person filming here. Alright, so let's go over some of the obvious things about this. You got the kangaroo palm, which is pretty comfortable. The premium outside leather, which is Kobe beef leather, or Japanese premium leather. I'm not going to go over all the stuff you can read in a pamphlet. I'm just going to go over the things I like about this glove personally. I like the fact that when I bought it, I didn't have to do a lot of break-in. I like the fact that the fingers still have a good amount of agility to them and I can still one finger breaking, two finger breaking and the palm slider does not let's go over the bike the palm slider, I know I'm holding the wrong side but it's closest to me the palm slider does not get in the way of the bars you can hold the bar still and it doesn't get in the way see, reverse view see how that's perfect, right? absolutely and I can ride a bike anyway, I guess. Anyway, so there's no... It's designed to fit 
right what the bar is so you don't have to ever ever worry about the way of the bars awesome you can still do sorry for the review reverse view one one cam one person here filming you can still do one finger two finger breaking you still have the agility in the hands but you still have the highest level of protection which is level two at two hundred seventy dollars i thought it was a bargain like i said it didn't take long to break in if any break in at all Gloves are awesome. Would I recommend these gloves? Absolutely, I'd recommend these gloves. The only negative these gloves are is they do not breathe, so on a hot day you're going to be pretty sweaty. These gloves right here have perforation in them. They will breathe a little bit, but they're not nowhere near the level of protection that these gloves have. And the forearm brace right there will keep you, hopefully, from not breaking a wrist. Who knows, everybody's built differently, don't sue me if you break a wrist, because I have strong bones and you might have weak bones, but it doesn't change the fact though that it's better than nothing and it's a pretty good secure brace. Alright, so I think that wraps up this video right here. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the, in the video below or in the, in the comments section. My name is Rhino Dan, these are the gloves that I bought for my track day for hard riding, anything that I'm doing. These gloves right here I use for low mile per hour training and I'm just goofing off. But these are my gloves right here that I love. I've been wearing them a lot and I have a lot of confidence, faith, and they fit great and they work. Would I recommend these gloves? Absolutely. I think they're worth the $270, every dollar of them, and that's it. So thanks for watching. My name is Reno Dan. If you have any questions, please like I said, leave in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Thank you.